Today, Venezuelans will head to the polls to decide their next president. The United States and corporate media are backing Maria Karina Machado, who they've dubbed Venezuela's Iron Lady. Machado isn't actually running as she's been banned. Instead, Venezuelans will choose between President Maduro and her hand-picked proxy, Edmundo Gonzalez. In 2002, Machado launched an NGO called Sumate, which was funded by the CIA cutout, the National Endowment for Democracy. That same year, when Hugo Chavez was deposed in a coup, Machado was in the presidential palace just hours later, and her name appeared on the list of signatories to the Carmona Decree, which attempted to set up a new pro-business government. This humble nonprofit leader was even welcomed at the White House by George W. Bush just a few years after launching the organization. Flash forward to 2014 and Maria Karina Machado is leading the violent Garimba riots with the explicit aim of overthrowing the government. That year, she was dubbed Venezuela's queen of protest. Around this time, Machado's emails were leaked. In them, she was caught attempting to finance a plot to kill President Maduro and claimed to have the backing of Kevin Whitaker, the U.S. ambassador to Colombia. In 2019, Machado was allied with Wang Guaido, who launched a failed coup attempt that year. But rather than try to oust Madero through a parallel government, Machado has long favored foreign intervention. She's repeatedly called for the, quote, formation of an international coalition that deploys a peace and stability operation in Venezuela. This plan calls for foreign occupation of Venezuela and disarmament of its military. In one letter I uncovered, Machado even pleaded to Benjamin Netanyahu for his help carrying out a, quote, regime change against the Venezuelan government. Supporters of Machado like to say to foreigners, come, live in Venezuela, see what it's like here. Well, I say to them, go, go live in Gaza, see how they live.